Hi, my name is Michael Grunberg. I am a senior consultant for Eclipse Computing. I am going to show you some things about fixed assets and why that would be good to have in Dynamics AX 2009. First, you can, from a purchase order, you can acquire fixed assets directly. You don't need to create a fixed asset first. You can simply create, uh, create a purchase order, and this still works with your workflow and all that, purchase approval. You simply pick an item, which is a service item, tick new fixed asset, and that will automatically create a fixed asset for whatever price it is, excluding GST. If we go and have a look at the fixed asset, fixed asset here is a Ford V6. It's status open because I have acquired it for $40,000. You have multiple information you can record on your fixed asset, such as asset group, type, property type, quantity, technical information such as make, model, model year, serial number, warranty. So you can track all that. You can track your maintenance. Asset condition. Is it good condition? Is it not so good anymore if it's an older asset? All your insurance details, so the vendor, you deal with the insurance, the agent's name, policy numbers, and all that. So if something happens, the office can very quickly find out the insurance details. You have the location, so the wherever the uh, physical location of the item, the uh, fixed asset is, could be any department. You can assign it to a person. You can have a barcode. All your assets can be barcoded. Reference comments, special disposal restrictions, if it's something, not a vehicle, of course, but anything else. Once you acquire a fixed assets, it can have multiple value models. Value models are utilized for your operating and tax depreciations so that you can see this is just set up for uh, operations. Service lasts three years, 36 months. Bought the vehicle for $40,000. The acquisition date gets registered. Depreciation terms. Purchase sale details. So we bought it from, the, from that vendor on that purchase order, that tax invoice number. You could record your financial dimensions. They could be different from the operational and the tax appreciation schedule if you wanted. From here, you can then do a depreciation. Depreciation is simply done in a journal, fixed asset journal, proposal, depreciation proposal. You can run it for multiple months at a time. If you if you only do depreciation on assets every three months, every six months, or every 12 months, you can take here, you can summarize your depreciation to one record, or you can have it as individual records per month, which is normally recommended. You just pick your asset, or you simply do it for all your assets in one go. Here, because I bought it not first of the month, it has two different amounts, of course. I post them. If I go to my fixed asset, I can now see my transactions on that asset. So acquisition 40,000, depreciation 250 dollars five cents and 1111 dollars and 11 cents. If you wanted to, once you are done with this asset, you can basically sell it again via a free text invoice, for example. So on a free text invoice can be a one-time customer. So here on the invoice line, you just pick the ledger account, the amount. It's a bit early to sell this asset, but I could sell it. Maybe I've dented the car already. Here you simply pick the fixed asset from the asset register, and that would automatically dispose the fixed asset. And you would just post it there, that would produce a tax invoice, which you would give to the customer. 
and they can then have their fixed assets. So that was basically a very short presentation on what you can do in the fixed assets module. So thank you very much for listening. If you need any further information, you can either contact your Eclipse consultants or your Eclipse account manager. Thank you.